hey guys if you look at this image you can see that every texture in the image is retained even after retouching this was the before where the image looks full of different kind of uh, skin defects like acing pimples and even black spot here and there in this video i will show you a retouching method that will retain every single skin texture in the most problematic image you encounter if you look at this image around this section here if you zoom in here if you look at the original image there's no texture here it's a little bit blurred out here on our skin but after retouching you can see that we even added a digital skin and it's looking so realistic and blended into this image i'll show you how to do that in this video and i'll also show you the frequency pressure method you are going to use so that every single texture on your image will be unharmed and everything will look this amazing and your image will stop looking plastic most of the, the frequency separation tutorial on youtube uh, tends to render your image plastic and if not it tends to make the whole process so complicated they are unable to apply it to your own retouching workflow that's what i experienced while learning retouching from youtube back in the days so i would like to solve that for you i want to show you a method of retouching that we take this kind of image and take it to this stage under a minute like 50 seconds to one minute you do your retouching and then you go and focus on other aspect of your life and then maybe you think about more creative process of shooting your image not going through retouching and risking deforming your image during retouching i'll show you a method that takes all these risks away and then everything will look amazing let me show you something um let's delete this whole uh layers here and then come to the beginning normally if you are to do frequency separation you duplicate the two layers here rename this color and then rename this our uh, texture because you want to separate the texture from the color that's why it's named frequency separation you separation the two frequency the color frequency from the texture frequency so if you turn off this uh, texture and then you come to the color you come to filter blow gaussian blow and i'll set the radius to about 10. Uh, this is the rate where you know that the texture is not in the color at the blow radius of 10 you click on okay and then you turn on this uh, texture layer go to image apply image and then you set the layer to color normally it will be on merge but set it to color uh, blend mode to subtract from normal you take it to subtract opacity should be 100 the preserved trans transparency should not be checked and the max should not be checked make sure your scale is 2 and the offset is on 128 and then you click on ok after that you change the blend mode of the texture layer to just subtract change it to linear lights you group this together and rename something like frequency separation. Let's use an acronym of FX. If you turn off this layer, you turn it on, you see that nothing happens. That means these have been perfectly separated. What else do you do? Uh, most times you come to the color layer and then take your lasso to uh, make a selection like this. Set the feeder to something higher as 20. Come to filter, blow gaussian blow and increase the blow until you see that the color in the image has been blended and now you click on ok you can easily go on to apply this by right clicking after making the selection and click on gaussian blow to apply this particular blow radius again if it's too high you press ctrl z to undo and then maybe you set the blow to a lesser value now click on ok now let's turn on this texture layer <laughs> i can see that the image is still full of blemishes in the texture how do you correct that maybe you take your uh, spot healing brush or you take your bro uh, healing brush or your uh close stamp tool and then you begin to go on to remove this from every part of the image 
this is first of all very tedious and you risk deforming your image sometimes some people use um what is it called the mixer brush to mix but that will barely solve the case for images like this and another solution you can use is to use a lower uh, blur reduce which then renders your image plastic that is not what we are going to use in this particular video let's delete this actually you see this is the most common method that is being used in most of the youtube video you see i want to share with you this action is a slammy smart retouch let's say the reduce to that same thing blur reduce then the action creates every of the single layer for you, you see that this layer are many here all this layer retain your texture for you let's come to the layer one take our lasso to make sure your feeder value is 20 make a selection like this taking the form of the skin into consideration make a selection come to filter blow gaussian blow let's use a blow reduce of 40 now click on ok you go on to do this for every other part of the image you see that for this stage we have something very similar to the previous frequency separation don't worry i'll show you the magic real soon so you go on everywhere that the color you want to blend the color and do exactly what you see me do right now after that instead of using the clone stamp or the spot healing brush or the healing brush to now heal these blemishes and then most times remove texture along we don't do that to come to the mid frequency you see we have high frequency mid frequency and this layer one is the low frequency let's rename it low frequency now if you come to the mid frequency you take your brush your normal brush to opacity 100 flow 28 or any flow that is high and then you brush over this area you see what is happening right this one takes care of most parts of the blemish it just removes it automatically for you without removing a single texture it just blends everything together and you know some skin even the texture on the skin doesn't look beautiful right this particular layer now takes care of that and grinds it and not blow it but grease it and make it more pleasant let's take a look at the before and after this was it before this is the after most times you can even leave the skin like this and it will look almost not retouched while rendering the skin more pleasing and amazing you see all these spots now are bed marks but if you want to remove them now you can reduce your radius to something about like this and then go over because if you use the the patch tool or the healing brush tool you need to make sure that the size is very small so that it doesn't create some unpleasant patches on the image and because we already did this mid frequency thing you see that the area we are to heal are now on less in number making us avoid the risk of deforming our image this was the before this is the after can you see that no single part of the image was deformed right that is how powerful this particular smart retouching frequency works this was the before this is the stage we currently are right now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to use this oh uh, what is it called digital skin which i will link up in the description i'll give it to you for free the digital skin i already made a more comprehensive video on that in on this channel so you can go and look that up so you take your brush and then you look at this part of the image 
the texture here are not that prominent so we add a digital texture yes the effect is too much so you come to the opacity and reduce it like this you see make sure your foreground is white if you are trying to apply something in photoshop using your brush make it black if you are trying to remove it so let's make it white so this was the before this is the after isn't this amazing you add even texture to your skin and you avoid the risks of ever making your image look plastic ever again this the final bus stop nobody will ever accuse you of making their skin look plastic and now your image will look high-end so the next thing you are going to do let me show you something how to enrich your skin color i'll make a more dedicated video on that so you come here you create a solid color and then you impute this hair code a one five e three two now click on ok change the blend mode to soft light you come to your layer max here and invert the layer max by pressing ctrl i on your keyboard take your brush make sure the foreground is white and then paint over the skin to enrich the skin color wow this is amazing right you can now reduce the opacity to about 40 so that we don't overdo anything and let me show you something part of the slimy retouch pack if you come to the enrich skin tone here and you click on it it does this automatically for you and uh, let's turn off this one and use this rich skin tone if you review this and then you reduce the opacity maybe around 50 like this and you feel like you don't want to use this particular skin color maybe the image is a dark model or a very light model let me show you something that comes with the retouching pack it's called the skin swatch so you come to the folder and then let's use the slimy neutral skin tone swatch if you bring it up here in your on your image you double click on the color picker and then you make sure the sample size is five by five average and if you sample all layer make sure sample all layer then if you click here you see magic right so this gives you room to unlimited skin tone color this part of the slimy retouch pack and this swatch we have over 30 of them in the swatch we upgrade them to over 50 something so that cover every skin color out there so with this method now you no longer have any issue with your skin tone whatsoever forever and it also comes with a skin tone correction action if you get the pack this is the slammy ultimate skin tone pack see that it has a skin red remover if your skin is too red use the skin red remover to remove that i'll make a more dedicated uh, video on that but if you get our course which includes all this essential pack ultimate skin tone pack and over four hours of retouching tutorial that covers everything from full body shot to images like this then you have the privilege of having unlimited access to all my packages so for that i think it's about a hundred dollars or so we previously were selling it 400 dollars on instagram but after putting this out on youtube 
we decided to bring down the price to a hundred dollar and if you feel that is too much you can dm me on instagram and we can negotiate a price depending on your country on your exchange rates we will consider you and give you this so you can go on to dodge and burn this image and do every other stuff but you can see how this amazing smart retouching works if you have any problem any complaint you can let me know in the comment section and if you get this course these are over four hours retouching course we have the time to attend to you and also answer you mentor you through the whole process once you get comfortable with all these actions and then your retouching becomes amazing and nothing short of my own it looks exactly like my retouching or even better because you might also have your own experience from other places so if you are ready to invest in your retouching get the slammy ultimate bundle check the link in the description write a dm to me on instagram and we'll get going you see in this video which is value pack you see i give you some of this for free and then the one that we are hosting on our paid platform because we have to continually pay for our website so how do we maintain that without you trying to tip us here and there so you see this course we are not selling it at its value which is 400 dollars but giving it you giving it to you at a hundred dollars so that we all can benefit and build this community happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial